If you like what you see, why don't you think about subscribing? And make sure to check out my channel for videos just like this. What is going on, people? It's your boy, Mr. Bucklist here. And once again, we have another room tour, this time on Wonder of the Seas. Let's do it. And let's do it with the bathroom first. So as you can see, it has this little sign right here. Please be mindful of the ledge. Now, one thing I was disappointed about the bathroom was when I first walked in, clearly a piece fell off of the shower. And it's just like, man, this ship has barely been in service for a month. Like it's literally April 1st. It started sailing last month. That's ridiculous. Um, but either way, the bathroom itself is not bad, it's pretty nice. Of course, you have your standard shelf stuff, and then you have the shower itself. And it does include the double hair and body wash. Last time when I was on the ship, for some reason it was empty and they didn't refill it, so I'm not really sure what's going on, but it is there if you forget to bring your own stuff. One thing to also know as well is that these doors just slam. I heard somebody else say it in one of their videos. I thought they were just being dramatic. They're not, these things slam no matter what you do. So keep that in mind. The next thing is we're gonna go to the closets. So you also have a both his and her closet. This is actually got on both sides. The only difference is this one has a lot more just hanging space. The other one actually has shelves. So like I said, it just really depends on who you're with and what you have, but you do have these. On this side over here, you also have these little cubbies. You have your safe, which is free to use. And then of course you have your um, hangers and stuff. That's some other little things down there. The next thing is, is this little couch. Um, so I use these, it really depends on who I'm with or if I'm with anybody at all. Um, I don't really use it that much, but it is cool to see in this room. It's like a little nice little hangout spot. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next thing we have is the desk. And so this desk is actually a good size. As you all can see, I actually have double laptops on it. Still more than enough room for everything. Um, the, the most important part, of course, is the outlets. So let's just go ahead down the list. You got one, two, and then you got the European. You got two USB plugs, and then you got one more over here. Because I mean, it's pretty stacked. Not bad at all. Good job, Royal Caribbean. Not to mention it has a chair. So a lot of places, well, a lot of cruise ships have the chairs that just are little stools. This you can actually do work with and not get a, a backache. With the stools, it gets uncomfortable after about 10 minutes. So really good. Next is, of course, the dresser. Now, when you first walk in, they're gonna have everything spread out. So for me, for example, um, I have the internet package because it came with this right here, the key. So I mean, you have the key, the excursion tickets, your daily planner. Everything is gonna be kind of waiting there for you. So if you wanna pick it up and read it, it's there. And then, of course, you have your drawers and stuff right here. And you also have your mini fridge. All right, so if we keep on moving on, the next thing that I really applaud is the actual TV. So I was on an older ship, the Mariner of the Seas, and the TV was like in this corner, and it just, it was really uncomfortable to try to watch TV, but this one's directly from the bed. So I mean, it's not bad. Obviously the bed's a nice good size, it's just me, so not bad at all. Now this actually makes me happy. So on this ship, they actually have not only a USB um, port, but also a plug as well, so I mean, Usually, I don't know why a lot of cruise ships are just really skimpy on the um, on the actual like outlets and stuff like that. And so for it to actually have one right there, and then another one right over there, great job, really good job, Royal Caribbean. And then the last thing I want to go over, and I apologize, y'all, I'm just extremely tired, but is this view. So last time when I was actually on the Symphony Seas, which is the sister ship, I was in one of those rooms across the way. It's called a um, balcony. Essential Park balcony room. This time instead, because I just want a little bit more privacy and just honestly, it's just cheaper. And I'll get one of these, which is a neighborhood view room. So it's just a window, but it's a nice good size. And it has this little window so that you can sit on, which is actually really comfortable. So again, I like it. It's cool because you're right in the middle of the action, but again, you can just do whatever you need to. You can close it off if you want to. It's just really good, really nice. So that's pretty much it y'all. Um, I apologize because I'm so tired, but this is a really nice ship. This is a really good room. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I'll see you soon.
Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, please check out my channel for more videos just like this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.